All right, everyone, the diameter of Earth at the equator is 7,926.381 miles. Round this number to three significant figures and express it in scientific notation. Okay, so the problem gives us this measurement here, the diameter of the Earth, 7,926.381 miles. So we first want to round that number to three significant figures and then express it in scientific notation. Okay, so let's write our number down. So we have 7,926.381 and we are looking at three sig figs, three significant figures. So this should be pretty easy. We have our sig fig rules up on the right, but we're only going to need rule number one because every single digit in this number is a non-zero and all non-zeros are significant. So knowing how many significant figures is pretty easy. They're all significant. So we need to get to three. So to do that, we're going to start from the left and go to the right, underlining our significant figures. So our first digit on the far left is seven. That is significant, so we'll underline it, underline the nine, and then the two. So those are our three significant figures, and that is the max that we can have, because we want to round to three. So we then need to decide, okay, this digit here, one past our last significant figure, is it going to round up the digit in front of it or not? Well, since that digit is a six, which is five or greater, that is going to round up the two to three. So we will then write seven, nine, three, and that's it for our significant figures, but we have a place holding zero here that we need to fill in because we need to have a number that's 7,930, not 793. So we need that non-significant placeholding zero there where the six used to be. All right, for the second part of the problem, we want to express that number in scientific notation. So what is 7,930 in scientific notation? Well, we have our scientific notation notes over on the right where we have some number m times 10 to the n power, and that m, that first part of the scientific notation, needs to be in between 1 and 10. So we have to move the decimal to get a number between 1 and 10. So if our number is 7930, our decimal is going to be right after the zero, right after the ones place. So we want to move that decimal to get this number in between one and 10. That means we're gonna move it one, two, three places to the left. And that will give us 7.93. So our number now is 7.93. That is our M number that goes in the first part of the scientific notation. And notice we did not keep that zero there in our scientific notation because it is not significant. It was just a placeholder. So we do not put that in our scientific notation. And then the second part of our scientific notation, we have times 10 to some power, and that power correlates to how we moved our decimal point. So the value of our power is how many places we moved the decimal. Well, we moved it one, two, three places. So that means our power of 10 is going to be three. And then now is it positive or negative? Some teachers like to say, if you move it to the left or to the right, it's negative or positive. But I think that gets confusing depending on if you're going to scientific notation or from scientific notation. So I like to use these two bullets here for positive and negative exponents. Is our actual number a big number or a small number? So our actual number is 7,930. So the number we're trying to put into scientific notation. Is it a big or a small number? 
Well, it is a big number because it is greater than or equal to 10. So 7,930, that's a big number. So our scientific notation is for a big number, which means the exponent must be positive. So we're gonna keep our power as positive three. Now, if we had something that was like 0 0.00007.93, that exponent would be negative because it's a small number. It's much smaller than one, but this is a big number, so positive exponent. So we're gonna leave our scientific notation as 7.93 times 10 to the positive third. And I almost forgot our unit, we are talking in miles. So we need to make sure that we have miles for our unit, you don't wanna forget that. All right, so for the diameter of Earth at the equator, rounded to three significant figures and expressed in scientific notation, we get 7.93 times 10 to the third miles. All right, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.